next to each painting. For over 54 years, psychic Lorraine Warren, along with her husband Ed, has searched and found ghosts around the world, from England and Scotland to their most famous case in Amityville, Long Island, to right here in Connecticut. The Warrens have written and been featured in books and television specials. A few years ago on a CBS Halloween special, Ed explained some worst case scenarios. There are homes that we go into, we tell the people, lock the door, leave the place, it isn't even worth it for an exorcist to go in there. Lorraine believes not all ghostly encounters need to be frightening, and in fact she coaches people on how to capture their experiences on film. She says the first thing to remember is that you can't take a picture of a spirit. They're just implanting their image on your film. So what you do is to go to the grave site or go to the haunted location, load your camera at the site, shoot a full roll of film, go off by yourself, shoot in areas where you seem to feel something, shoot two or three or four times in one location and your chances are much better. Lorraine also discourages speaking the names you might see on graves out loud. She says that spirits are able to show themselves once they receive that type of recognition. Talking to ghosts isn't the only mistake people make. She also told us a few things not to do on Halloween, even if you're in the mood to see something spooky. Conjuring spirits, which is something they do, Ouija boards, uh, getting involved with spells and witchcraft, that is the thing that I warn against, and above all, Ouija boards. The Warrens have published nine books, including The Devil in Connecticut. Paisy Cheng, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.